Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. My name is Christina Gonzalez, and I am a member of the Divine Mercy Prayer Group Sarja for the last 10 years. Today, I am here to testify for myself. In the month of April, to be precise, on the 16th of April, my HR called me and told me that I have been made redundant. I lost my job. At that moment, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know who to call. But I just prayed to Jesus and I said, Lord, you have closed this door for me and I believe and I have faith in you that you will open another door for me. As a human being, I cried. I felt depressed. I felt sad. I kneeled down and prayed. I, I just didn't know what I was doing. But at the end, I know that I was only praying to Jesus. And he was my support at that time. I called Brother Alfred and he told me, Christina, don't lose hope. Jesus is there for you. He will help you out. Just have faith and trust in Him. And I told him, Brother, I have so much of fear for me, fear in me. I don't know what to do. And he told me, I'll give you some Bible verses. You recite those verses and everything will be fine. My, my dear brothers and sisters, I did memorize the verses. Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. Isaiah 45, 2 and 3. Matthew 6, 33. Psalm 2, 8. Philippians 4, 19. Joshua 21, 45. Romans 8.31 Isaiah 41.10 Luke 10.19 I always quoted these Bible verses every time I would say them. I had them saved in my mobile and I just recited beside the Bible verses. Me and my family crying and kneeling down we pleaded to this Jesus. This portrait has been with me for quite some time and as I testify Jesus is standing with me to testify along for me. He has always been my support every time he has he and he has taken care of me and my family. In some way or the other, he has never left us. We would say the rosaries. We started with the Divine Mercy Naminas. Every first Friday, I started the Divine Mercy Naminas for the last five months. And every day without fail, I would say the Divine Mercy nine chapters. Every day without fail. Even today, I continue saying that. One day suddenly, Kami called me and she said, Christine, I need the portrait. And while I was saying the three hour play, I didn't know what to do. And I said to Jesus, Jesus, today you're going away from my home. When you were here, nothing happened. Now I'm more scared. I don't know what I will do, what will happen. And with a heavy heart, we said our prayers and all, and the portrait was taken from my home. As he went out, I checked my mobile. And I came to know that there was a message sent to me and I checked my email and there was a message that I have been selected for a job and I cried. I didn't know what to do because I believed that Jesus has given me this job. And ever since my dear brothers and sisters, on the 8th of September, I got the offer letter. I prayed the rosary. I continued praying. I never let it go. Jesus has always been with me and there is one verse that I always Mark 11, 22, Jesus said, have faith in God. And I believe And my favorite line, which I always, every time, maybe 10 times, 15 times, every time I quote it, Jesus, I trust in you. My dear brothers and sisters, never let it go. Jesus is there for us. Just trust in Jesus and he will help you out. He is there for us today and for I would like to thank Brother Alfred and Sister Shaila for all the support extended towards me and my family. Brother Alfred's preachings has helped me to grow more in faith and brought me and my family more closer to Jesus. Thank you Brother Alfred.